Hey and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today we're going to go over all of the updates for November in Pocket Camp. And so there's a few things to go over, quite a few new notices, so we'll just go down the list here. Let's just talk about the new arrivals. So these are the new villagers for Animal Crossing New Horizons, but they are making their way to Pocket Camp and you can actually get them already. All you have to do is go to Gulliver and hopefully you can get those maps if you haven't done them yet. And then through there you can get them through Blathers, but basically you can go to Gulliver's ship, sh send out the maps and get them back. And there will be eight new animals that make their first appearance in Animal Crossing. New Horizons will be arriving on the camp site just a little bit earlier so that's really cool and you can kind of see a nice snapshot of everybody moving on to the update celebration and an update will come soon to animal crossing new horizons game for the nintendo switch and there's going to be a special event happening in pocket camp too nico and wardell from animal crossing happy home paradise added content will appear in pocket camp as a happy homeroom guest judges lottie is moving up there's a challenge from lottie at happy homeroom being available at the same time so please be sure to check it out we have the paradise aloha shirt and other happy items so you can actually get the outfit. This will be available from the 28th, which is already passed, to until the 5th. So basically up until the update. And all the other fun events happening. So we have all of the new animals. We also have Flick and CJ, as well as some really cool new items that are based off of New Horizons. So you have the Nooklings, you have Tom Nook and their New Horizons shirts. You also have the Dodo Airlines plane, the crafting table, a koi pond from the museum, the butterfly exhibit from the museum, and the campsite. Along with this event happening, we also updated the app, and to show your appreciation during the patience of this update, we have a gift for you, which is the 20 leaf tickets that you can get. And they should just be in your mailbox when you log in, and you should be just able to grab them right away. Moving to ACPC Snapshots event, which is the hashtag that you can use on social media. The current theme is ACPC Halloween decor. You can use their AR camera to add your characters into photos. Use the simple snapshot mode in the AR camera and tell us all about your exciting Halloween decorations. The theme changes each week, so look forward to them below. So there is a new one after this Halloween decor, which is starting November 5th. So ACPC Pocket to Palm. So I'm guessing that's going to be you taking a picture of your animals in your palm of your hand. And then starting on November 12th, there's the ACPC Surprise. So this is actually really cute that they're adding new weekly events where you can take pictures for social media. You will need a Twitter account to post photos and you need to be at least 13 years old and have a Nintendo account. Moving on to Franklin's Harvest Festival, which is currently going on as of recording. And Franklin is looking for an assistant to help him cook some stuff up. The latest garden event, Franklin to Farm to Table. Franklin's Farm to Table. Not Franklin to Farm to Table. That'd be a little weird. Collect lots of bumble beets and and start the harvest on festival on your campsite. This is from October 30th until the 9th of November. So there's plenty of time to get this done. And there's tons of new furniture. You can see that there's an oven, there's some tables, countertops, there's tons of food. So definitely a really good one to get into, especially if you like Thanksgiving themed and eating themed furniture. You can also purchase some growth things or fertilizer for your flowers if you don't feel like waiting for them to grow. But I find that a little bit unnecessary. Then we have the Pop Quiz Harvest Party. So there's special classes at the Happy Home Room. And it has some good furniture that includes some food items, which is really nice. There's also some beautiful new items that we're going to go over soon that are included in this photograph. Next up is the fourth anniversary celebration. So there is, it's been four years since Pocket Camp has been released. So there's new four year anniversary candles around that you can get through the different events. So every time you finish some event stuff or you will receive four-year anniversary candles which you can use for other things like furniture and there has been new recipes added to the auto designer so if you decide to set that up any of those items that you can set up for the auto designer will just be placed automatically one of my favorite new things that have been added and i'm tempted to get nook tickets for is that a new terrain has been added and this terrain is absolutely gorgeous it's called the candle lit creek series they have a new
new background, a giant, giant tree that's gorgeous, and some other trees that are very autumn themed, as well as this nice kind of autumn ground with some wood plates. I do find the background is a little simplistic. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp's backgrounds typically are a little underwhelming, but the kind of middle and foregrounds are always so, so nice. So just to get an example of what that background looks like, we will go into my camp here and we will just change all of it and go to the new one so we can see the preview for this foreground which is absolutely stunning. I love all the little lights in the background. We also have the foreground where you can get another creek up front and you can see the wooden pathways. The background which is really just a few fields. I find that like I said earlier the, the backgrounds tend to be a little lackluster. However, the tranquil sky is absolutely stunning. It really shows so much nicer, like, with the, the subtle background. So let's take a full view. Of, this is the evening because it's currently 2 a.m. when I'm recording. We'll change it to morning. Beautiful. Oh, I just noticed the little lights in the, uh, in the river. That's really pretty. Here's our afternoon look gorgeous. And last but not least, our evening look, which I think out of all of them, this one might be my favorite. And there is a new fortune cookie in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for Henry's glamping cookie. I didn't think I would like a glamping cookie, but then I saw it and it's absolutely amazing. They have like this little patio porch. There's a tent. There's a chair that's kind of like a sleepy rocking chair. They have a little fishing pond, a bonfire, and a log to sit on is actually gone up in in terms of like my favorite cookies that are available in pocket camp it's such a pretty design but also the color palette is like right up my alley and if you get the five star vacation house fire pit that's a mouthful to say you'll be able to view a special memory starring henry and friends and it includes sid is that his name the new elephant sid and last but not least we have some fall knits and plaids for the collection and they look extra cozy you have some scarves on them. There's some woven hats, just very fitting for fall. And just to go over some of the fourth anniversary celebration goals, here's the prizes that you can earn. You can get a shirt that has a four with a cupcake style on it, and you can get some cupcake stools and a pop-up book, which is really cool. Going over some of the other events that we are going to be have coming soon in mid-November, we'll have a fishing tourney with tea olives, whatever that means, but you can get some fourth anniversary candles. You can also get those candles through the comfy quilt scavenger hunt in late November, which is where we will need to collect some gyroids. There will be a brand new fortune cookie, which is Ursula's bouquet cookie. We don't know the details of that yet, but I'm kind of excited. I always love flowery based cookies. There will also be a cottage wall and floor collection to be able to craft, probably using leaf tickets. And the premium collection for fall floral outfits will be also available in mid-November. And that is really just about it for the Pocket Camp updates of November that have currently been announced. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with a lot of the new updates I'm currently working on. Bugs for Franklin over there, you can see him in the background, but other than that, it's just been, you know, business as usual in pocket camp but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions on the upcoming pocket camp events feel free to let me know in the comments i'd be happy to answer anything the best that i can and until the next one i will see you on the next video bye